Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this episode, we're gonna make the upload process of the video and the trimming a little bit more streamlined. So if you so you know that uploading a video can take some time, uh, if you're on a bad network, it's gonna take longer time than uh, on a faster network. And before we trim, we have to have the video on the back end, right? So when the user selects the file, that's essentially we want. To, that's when we want to start uploading it. So as soon as you select it, we want to upload it. And while the user is inputting the uh, trimming information, hopefully by then the file upload has finished. If not, we'll check and uh, then basically proceed with our form submission. So for this, I'm actually going to bring in Axios to help me with uh, posting information. So here I'm going to go ahead and get Axios. Uh, I will link, leave a link for this in the description. Uh, so let me pop it in here. Let me close that. So we have this file here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, right below here, after we've appended to the attribute, let's go ahead and submit it. So let's create a form data, new form data, right? And uh, to this form data, we want to append a file. And we want to append this file. All right, and then all I want to do is I want to take Axios and I want to post to home slash upload file. I'll post this form data. Uh, simple enough. I'm then going to take the result and I'll create a global variable. Uh, I'll call it upload complete. I'll say false here. So when this has completed, I'm going to go ahead, take upload complete and say true. I'm also going to go ahead and give out an, a little alert uh, to say that upload has complete just as a notification. So now in my home controller, I want to separate this into two different uh, methods. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this here. I'm going to remove the convert video. I'm going to change this to OK message. I'm going to remove the text that I'm passing in here and I'm going to remove these trimming uh, parameters. Okay, so I'm, all I'm left with is saving the file. Okay, and I'm going to rename it to upload file as well. Like so. Uh, here I want to remove the file that I'm uploading and I want to remove this as well. I'll go ahead and uh, instead rename this to trim video. And when I submit my form, I'm going to go ahead and submit it to trim video instead. And I'm going to remove this ink type multi form, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to move the input up top here. Okay, so it's outside the form and we're not going to be posting it. And let me actually separate this into two separate divs so we can uh, see a little bit of separation here. And I'll just put a horizontal line as well. And I'll put a horizontal line everywhere. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, confirm that this works. Let me open up the console. I'm going to choose a file, upload, and upload has completed. Okay, but this video that has loaded here, uh, that is basically our video here. So that's not the video that, that's the video that we have uploaded. But that's not the source of the video. The source is in our browser. Okay. So again, if we, if I turn on this mode and I will enable something like, uh, let's say, mid tier mobile, and let's choose a file again. So I'll just choose the same file. You can see that the time it takes for the alert to pop up is a little bit delayed. And uh, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly how. Uh, big the video is, but actually let me choose the say a different file because, well, it was the same file, so there was no change. So you see the video is loaded here. And the alert upload is still pending, and there we go. So you can see that that has taken, like, I don't know, 10 seconds at least to upload, right? So we want to utilize the time it takes the user to select his trimming especially if you have the sliders, it's a little bit more comfortable, uh, especially if you're on a mobile phone, but still that time you can utilize to sort of already start to upload while the choose user chooses to trim his video or input some settings, etc. Okay. Uh, so let's close this down 
I'm happy with that. So now when I submit this form, uh, I want to be able. I want to. I want to essentially submit it only when the upload has been completed, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create an on submit event here, and I'm gonna say submit form, right? I'm gonna pass the event, right? And then let's go ahead and create this variable. So for submit form equals function. I'm gonna pass in the event here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, this is really raw and not really the best uh, way to do it. But uh, again, this is just an example. And in the real world scenario, you will be using observables or uh, some kind of a reactive uh, uh, store or basically some sort of reactivity to trigger this event and uh, uh, allow you to basically reactively update your state and uh, uh, watch your state, right? So th again, this is a raw example. So don't do this in real applications unless it's like for your own use. Otherwise, you're going to be in a world of pain. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, proceed. So inside our submit form, what we want to do is we want to create a interval. So set interval. And in here, I want to create a function. And inside of this function, essentially, let's say every 100 seconds, I want to check if uh, upload is complete. Then I want to go ahead and uh, take my target here. So this is going to be my form. And I'm going to submit it. But actually, I want to take this event and I want to say prevent default. So this is going to this is going to prevent my form from submitting in the first place. This is going to check for uh, upload complete to change. So it's going to go every hundred uh, milliseconds. To check if it's complete if not it's going to keep looping and once we have submitted the form i want to clear the interval right so let's store the id of the interval in this interval variable and we're going to pass in the id of the interval to the clear interval function and it's going to stop the submission right i'm also going to put a console log here so we'll say trying to upload uh, or rather trying to submit form. And here I'm gonna put in form submit started. So we know it has started. And uh, and here the page is going to refer, so I don't need to inform that the page has submitted. Let me start the application now. And I'll open the console. I'm gonna enable mid-tier throttling. I'm going to actually give this one more refresh just for safety. I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to say I want one and between one and five seconds, I'm going to submit it. So here we can see the form submit has started and here it's trying to submit the form. Upload has completed and there we go. Our uh, trim has started here. So I'm going to pass that through. And it's trimming, and there we go. So one thing, the what's it called? The file hasn't updated because of caches. Let me actually make sure that the converted file is actually what we want it. So yeah, so here's the converted file, and here's what it would start with originally, right? So this one is actually muted as well, right? And you can see that the kick initial kick is missing. That's essentially it for this episode. Uh, I hope you can see the benefit of this. So we start the upload of the file before we start the trimming. And uh, the next step would be allowing the user to use the website and navigate between pages, even though the trimming has started. So we are in the next episode, we're going to be looking at background processing. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, put the notifications on. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And as always, see you in the next episode.